Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. It plays Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are in the Rock for the Brains, a collection of asteroids way out there in the wilds of space. 1500 cycles on the clock, may as well call it 1600 at this point, and we have got 16 duplicates trying to make their way into the future as comfortably as possible. Last time we managed to strip down on some of our duplicate labor and managed to get this this sulfur line up and running with stopping duplicates coming up into the ridiculously hot area that we have up here. This coal cave used to be full of magma, now it's just full of burning hot gases, like, like ridiculously hot gases, uh, and the duplicates had to come up here to grab materials from this geyser. We've now managed to stop that being a necessity. The other thing we did the last time was to uh, build some, some stuff here that we decided actually, you know what, we, we, we don't want this here. We were building a nuclear reactor and the nuclear reactor would actually be better to have near the surface so that we can make use of all the radiation that is coming off of it and to that end we're starting to build ourselves a, a nice little segmented section over here I'm gonna just like slam some tiles across the top that is arbitrarily the top of our little setup here I'm, I'm not sure whether we're gonna want it higher lower we can bounce rad bolts around so I think we'll do that for now uh, the next thing I wanted to do of course was to slam some turbines in here one of those we're of course going to need to wait for the ladder to be taken out and it turns out that is about the width that we want okay that that that's good uh, this all in aim of various various things we, we do a, a great deal of stuff with the rad bolts that we will generate from the research uh, from the the radiation that comes from the research reactor. It's a bit of a convoluted uh, line, but isn't everything in oxygen not included a bit of a convoluted uh, line? Uh, and the job that I'm really looking to do here is one, to make sure that we can get a rocket set up. I actually feel like we need to move our pip farm here. Maybe maybe back to reverse, Lynn. Down, we've got some, some space down the bottom here and indeed some pips down the bottom here as well. We'd only need to send some arbor acorns across, but we're starting Starting to get to the point where we are going to be running out of running out of uh, food for the hatches. That would mean running out of coal for our coal generators, uh, and then we can probably do it with a backup power system there. I'm not sure whether we'll be able to fit the entirety of this system uh, because this is this is kind of a hamstrung half system. This is, this is the right size, and then up the top here would probably be a full uh, full farm's width. Uh, uh, down here we'd need maybe four ethanol distillers to keep the petroleum generator turning and then this is the right size down the bottom so this middle section here would be at least twice the size so let, let's say 30 tiles by ooh, what, what what is this 30 tiles by 30 tiles let's just see if we've got the space for that this isn't what we're doing today i'm just thinking out loud we do we, we actually don't we oh look at this it's huge it's huge 30 by 30 was i reading those numbers right yeah i mean this is a blueprint of 25 29 by 24 yeah, I was unfortunately reading those numbers right. Okay, we'll have to figure out somewhere else. I was thinking about maybe Bergolia, but I kind of want to just turn this into an automation only. We'd also need to move this setup somewhere. I want to reduce the number of dupes here. Um, this place is slowly getting very, very hot and uh, not doing well on the auction. We've got some places that are good, but all of this is for when we have ourselves... Let's get out of there. The nuclear reactor up and running, and that is requiring some digging up and over this way. I also need to build an airlock over here. Spitzer, you don't look so good. Whilst we watch our duplicates named after the great observatories go through and make themselves a nice little cooling system, I would like to take this moment right here and thank the people that help keep me cool in the summer. That's right, my patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names, a list of names of the guys and girls that have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly monetary donation to make sure that me and my channel can continue on into the future as comfortably as possible. And this seems like a perfect time to tell a little story about getting interrupted while setting up for a recording session. I, of course, was opening Oxygen Not Included. I have been waiting for the uh, the save file to load for quite some time, and about halfway through, this popped up. And, of course, as Captain Subs is one of my longest-serving patrons, I am on a bound to pop this up and in here. I'm sorry it didn't quite work out as an actual interruption, but, my dude, it's good to see you, man. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. 
over on Play Action, I've just spent an evening figuring out how I can compact stuff down, particularly the power system here, but also kind of close this area up a little more whilst this uh, hot polluted oxygen vent is dormant. It's doing a sterling job providing oxygen for the base. I believe it's one of the few things that actually is. I mean, we do have a half Rodriguez, but it's it's only on whilst the, uh, the hot polluted vent is dormant. I suppose we could do a better job of transporting it around, but that, that's a different job for a different day uh, we uh, yeah that we, we're gonna we're gonna move the pips we're definitely gonna move the pips but this this is much more important right now always something to go wrong uh, so I don't know what how I managed to do it but somehow I put a break in the line here I uh, this deconstructed the either this piece here or this piece here I'm not sure exactly which piece I deconstructed but this also means that with one of the places where we needed the cooling to be happening the most uh, we've got a whole bunch of uh, deconstructs I mean if people could come along and fix them that that'd be very helpful okay crisis averted the liquid flows again it's nice and cool uh, once again I think this front is probably going to need filling at some point. But at the same time, I, we're going to be doing our own special thing over here for the pips. So uh, may, maybe we don't need to worry so much about that. Is it good that I uh, left space here for some extra thermal aqua tuners. So we could definitely do whatever we need to do over here. Talking of what we need to do, back on Pyaxlin, I, I have had a, a suggestion from Era all of this this i mean i knew this was bad when we got started i knew this was a terrible idea but i couldn't see my way past it uh, we, we're just gonna we're just gonna rip all of this down right now we, we've got a much 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 better idea than that and that as well okay i think that's now everything taken out uh we, we've got a waistline right here like right here so we could just pass this by uh, let, let's let's get the uh, the gas line out here uh, i think we're going to go down across and then we're going to come back up this way and this will just go straight into the waistline like that i'm going to go with a gas bridge because it's almost always better to just jump on with a gas bridge like that uh, and hopefully i'm a little bit worried that we'll lose flow in this section that that could be a problem but we'll, we'll see what happens as long as all of this i mean as soon as curie gets done taking things apart she should also put together the uh the the, the pipe pull work over here over on Iragao. we've got the majority of the work done uh, i totally didn't forget that we needed the width of a wall extra uh, most of the time i'm hoping no duplicate should ever actually end up coming up here after we've set everything up but i i'm not going to trust that so i've put a way through just in case this will not not be steamy this will be separated off from this area over here it will however be absolutely blasted with radiation so um, yeah that that's going to be interesting talking of radiation as soon as we can put this down i think i actually want it quite close to this side over here maybe leave room for a thermal aqua tune something like in the middle here uh, and then we've just got some like thermal mass space over hmm, i'm not sure maybe we could use it this side uh, the the reason being this this will absolutely blast radiation. I believe it's for like a 15, 20, 25 tile radius. It's it, it's huge. It's a huge amount. Uh, in fact, let, let's have a look. Uh, that, that's that's like 20 tiles to there. I mean, 25 will get you out this far. I don't think, even if it was only 15, we could get this far. We'd have all the red bolt generators here. But of course, the water needs to be dealt with and uh, the infrastructure needs to be put into place. And therein lies one of our troubles. We do not have enough copper. So we need to try and get this space uh, prepared over here. Uh, I went ahead and put down a whole bunch of uh, extra tiles to make this place more radiation safe previously. Uh, I'm now going to build some extra tiles at the top here. Uh, and we're going to move the door over. And we're going to open up space for a rocket platform right here. Here. Made out of lead might not be the best option, but we'll, we'll see what we can do about changing that particular story. 
And just like that, if there's room in the atmosphere to take it, the carbon dioxide will be dumped down. And if there is not, it will overflow and go up into the line. There was a little blob just there because there was the, the pressure right here had momentarily spiked when everything had just arrived. So uh, yeah, now this is working pretty well. We can even take out this, uh, this element sensor here. There's no need to have that anymore. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, uh, thank you, Eric. Love it. Even though I've just cleared out all this room on reversing for the pit branch over here, like that's just going to have to move at some point. I'm wondering if actually we need to move it to Blagolia. It's the, the place with the majority of the metals, the, the free metals, if you will. Uh, but it keeps running out of power here. In fact, if we have a look at the status, is it the status? properties the uh the interplanetary launcher is not launched for five cycles that is a problem and the problem is coming from the fact that this natural gas geyser has gone dormant one geyser going dormant shouldn't be the end of my system so uh, we, we we need to strengthen this up we do have access to pug slugs and i suppose we could try and do something with those especially given all the metals we've got around but i also feel like maybe the pips i, I don't know Oh, you can feed them just normal gold. Uh, is gold the one I've got most of? Gold is indeed, despite the fact that it's the one that I've been shooting across the uh, the galaxy, gold is indeed the most abundant resource that I have. I, I'm really tempted to do it. I'm really tempted to do it. So if I feed them 30 kilograms of gold per cycle, that's a sponge slug. Wait, no, that's not the right one. There's, there's a proper slug up here somewhere. Oh, oh, do they put the morphs first now? Oh, pug slug takes 60 to give me 3,000 per cycle. Um, I'm, I'm sure the power's also a good payoff. Um, may, maybe we'll, we've got a little bit of an area started over here. Maybe, maybe we could turn this into something better. They're going to eat my cobalt, though. Of course, this needs to be a priority because work on the reactor over on Eragao has to come to a bit of a halt until we can get some more materials, more metals. Hopefully that'll give them a chance to uh, pump out this water. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it or indeed why I'm trying to use pitcher pumps. Wait, I have much better materials for that. Okay, I mean, are we going to ranch them or are we just feeding them? Okay, proof of concept here. We've got a wild pug slug. It's just eaten. You can tell by the way it's given off all the hydrogen. Let's see how it connects to my power system. I've got some batteries down here, but something tells me I'm going to want to have a lot more. Now, ideally, cobalt ore is not what I'm feeding them. Ideally, it is... Oh, no, no, no. Is, am, I, am I at the wrong height? What's wrong? Yeah, I am at the wrong height. Oh, that is... That's terrible. That's terrible. <laughs> 400 watts though, 400 watts per pug slug. This one's not eaten and it's only at 40. Okay, uh, I suppose instead of doing that, I could just raise the roof by one. Well, I thought I did some good thinking covering this tile up, but it turns out I missed the tile that would drop. Oh no, okay, well, that's that's just the way it's gonna have to be. Oh, we've been doing some more damage. This is this is good. This is good. <laughs> Okay, so we got people working on the roof. Now the wires are in the wrong place. Oh, he got away. Look at that. That is terrible. But we got people on working on the roof. I'm trying to get the door open. I guess we're going to wrangle this. Oh, yeah. Just, just go back inside. That would be great. You seem to know what is best for you. I suppose now we could just, like, I don't know, carry on this roof across the top here. Might be a better idea. Okay, not not an ideal setup, but it's it's closer to what we want. Let's cancel the deconstruction there. Hopefully people will come along and grab all this. We're going to lose a lot of the cobalt ore to our friend the pug slug here, but night time has been called. We managed to get most of it done. We ended up not needing to wrangle them. Oh, I hope they don't escape through this one random corner. They really shouldn't, but... um. 
I don't know. Corners in this game, they're they're a bit weird. They're a bit weird. Let's uh, let's see what happens in the evening. Okay, yeah, well he's there. Okay, this is good. Press F to. Yes, nice. Now I, the, that's just 400 watts though. That's just 400 watts, and we we need to provide at least 1200. So that's uh, that's going to be at least three of those. But we we also have this up here. We want to keep running as well. We do have the geothermal. <laughs> uh, we do have the geothermal down here. Mm, okay, maybe we need to um, only open this at a uh, uh, higher time. How about 350? Is 350 good for you? 82% uptime. Still not good enough, though, unfortunately. We're working on it. We're working on it. We need to uh, wrangle up some more pug slugs now. Okay, I think these two are our contestants. Let's wrangle and wrangle and then dig. It might take a while for them to actually get to that, though. In the same way, it's going to take them a while to get to this. Back over at Irregal. Most things are going in place. Okay, this is good. It's, it's just Spitzer when the alarm's not set. So the fact that it's just Spitzer doing this is great. What I don't like is the fact that we can't get to the ladder when the door is closed. That's very unfortunate. I, I can't really... I don't know if I can set it to open. Let, let's find out. Hey, Spitzer, can you come along and do this? Will you come along and do this? No, Chandra will. Uh, how about if I turn it off and on again? No, all right. Well, we'll, we'll wait until Sandra gets here. Okay, let's see what happens to these gases here. Oh, we're filling up with hydrogen. I mean, that is good. It's kind of what I want. I would like this place to be filled with a thermally conductive gas. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll take that. Uh, so, are we losing... That says space exposure right there. That's what I was worried about. But, okay, let's let's get this one built right now. Spit, Spitzer? No, no, Chandra again. Okay, what, why is she always the first one? Okay, the door is closed. This now reachable. This is now reachable. Okay, great. That's that's good. That's good. Okay, few problems kicking off over here at Irrigat. We've got ourselves a bust in the pipe, so it looks like we can only take up pressure up to here. So what I'm going to do is get a manual airlock down. I'm not allowed to put it there, so we'll put it there. That's fine. That will actually do the job that I need it to do. Get some automation on the go as well. Only got enough um, gold for five wires. I'm gonna make it out of copper instead. Wait, that's the wrong door. But let's try it like this instead. That's the right place, okay. Uh, instead of wasting their energies down there, I'd really like them to come through here and fix that instead. Uh, I'm replacing this with an airflow tile just, just because it seemed like the right idea when I first looked at it and it uh, no longer does. Uh, this should, if everyone can get this built, uh, cut off the supply of more liquids when it gets up to such a height. That's my plan anyway. That's my plan. That it's it's damaging my heavy watt joint plane. That that's the real problem. Okay, that's this room sealed off if anything goes well, if this gets too full, let's also just mop that up. We've been having to do a fair bit of this. Maybe not quite so much at this uh, higher priority. We we do have this little nice little pool for everything to drop into down here. Yeah, that that's the problem. Hopefully, once it all equalizes, this little pump will carry on doing its job. We're not consuming water fast enough for where we are, which is crazy. We should probably switch over to entire bristle blossoms. Okay, as with everything on Blagolia, no one does anything unless you call it an emergency. So I've got them emergency styling coming in to try and get these pug slugs. Uh, is this saying nobody can wrangle? Uh, Swan Leather can. Okay, that that's good. That's good. Because we're just going to move them down uh, to here. This is saying the building is flooded. Also bad. Let's uh, Let's try and mop all of this up as well. Cycle 1600, by the way, just noticed, just noticed. That is pretty amazing. And uh, thing, things going on as normal, I see. <laughs> and the third, beautiful, beautiful. That's, uh, that's good. Uh, possibly getting a little bit of hopeful thinking with this uh, critter feeder here. Let, let's try and get someone to build it. I, I don't know whether deliver gold to the critter feeder is, is something that the duplicates are able to do, but I'm, I'm going to find out. Plug, slug, gold. Okay, all right, yeah, no, we can. We can get that delivered. I don't know who is on the priority there. Swan Levitt, as soon as she's done eating. I did kind of keep them busy building the stuff. So, okay, yeah, cool. 
Uh, also, I've got this idea for how I'm going to collect all of the hydrogen. Would you believe it's it's with a pump? <laughs> okay, so that that's 1,200. That on its own should cover this thermal aqua tuner. But of course, we want just a little bit more than that. How's our uptime been doing? 78 for the past five. But look, look, last cycle 66, this cycle 81. Wait. Wait, are we into this cycle yet, or is this just the end of this of the last cycle? I guess we're still cycle 1600. Okay, so the cycle 1599 was 66%. Okay, we've done a little bit better this time then. Whilst I've been sat here tinkering with the various systems, one of the things I've noticed is that we've got a cooling system here doing its work, and then we've also got another cooling system doing here doing its work, and this one is just a little bit more overwhelmed than this one, and I'm wondering if we can just do a little something like this let me just figure out where I need to cut these there and there this might be too much liquid in the system we may have just locked it all up but we'll, we'll wait and see if that is good if it can take it all we might end up having to empty some water out of here but it does mean that we're going to end up yeah, no, we, we've put too much in here. That's no problem. That's no problem. I'm surprised uh, of, uh, that the uh, that it, it just locked up like that. You would have thought it would have just, like, not let it roll. Okay, so it it is moving somewhere, slowly but surely. What I'm going to do is ask for this one to be emptied, uh, and that should go quicker. What do you mean we don't have someone with the, pro the plumbing skill? I, I kind of disagree. Okay, Goddard can get to it. Let, let, let's let him go to it there and then hopefully that'll be his little job oh look, we've got a dense puff there i'm gonna set that to attack i'm just kind of killing a lot of creatures that are out and about here because it's probably stuff like this that's causing me a fair bit of lag Okay, we're not quite free-flowing again. Let's pop that back down. Very high priority. Let's uh, let's see if we can get it super free-flowing. I don't know if we need to nuke just one or two or let's stop him there. Let's see what we've got again. It's still just a little bit tight. It's not the free-flowingness we like. Only time will tell if that was a good idea. We seem to be putting out 30 degree water out of here, and then that gets knocked down to 23. That's pretty good. We could be doing better. Uh, I feel like maybe we need like a third cooling area, especially with this aluminium volcano right in the middle of erupting here. I'm sure that's putting a lot of extra stress on the system. Really, we just need to um, isolate this aluminium volcano out put another couple of uh, steam turbines on top of it and have it as its own isolated area now that we are much more au fait with the uh, with the shipping run I think that's one of the things we will start looking to do but how are we doing I mean I can already see we're starting to run out of power how is the geothermal coming online for that with uh, with it's taking a while it's taking a while this should have come on at two okay so i turned it up to 30 percent. let's now turn it to 40 percent uh and then hopefully it will get turned on quicker it's yeah that th this is one of the things that's not catching up in time it's one of the the background services that should have kicked on before these did uh, after these did why why are these not running because we don't have enough gas we last time i looked here we had a surplus I've dropped us down to two rad bolt generators. I did drop down to just one, and that look, we had that up for 100%. So I'm now going to try two and see if we can keep both up for 100%. That that would be very handy if we could double the amount of rad bolts. I mean, that turns it from five days per firing to two and a half. That's why we had three to turn it down to less than a day. Okay, we've got a couple of things going on here. First, the power source that's hopefully going to sustain us during the day. Seems to be doing a good thing on the smart battery here. Low threshold. Let's turn that up to, I don't know, literally as soon as it needs to get going, it should get going. So let's go for about 80%. Give it a little, little fluctuation there. I've also moved another pug slug in. Turns out they're happy. They're not cramped. They're not overcrowded. That's good. This can't pump at the moment. Uh, it does have 
have a little clean system here. If it picks up anything that is not hydrogen, this is detecting hydrogen. Uh, and then the knock gate will open up the high pressure vent if it detects that. Uh, that will clean the line and that should keep the uh, keep the hydrogen generator over here running fine. It's very tempting to put down a second one. I think we will go ahead and do not, not that, do that. Trading gold for hydrogen is definitely something that we can do quite well over here on Blagolia. Let's go and check our down times uh, over here. Properties 100, 100, 100. I mean, we're still on the same day, but it's 100. I will take that as a win. Unfortunately, on Iragao, our lack of materials has stopped our construction right in its paces. Uh, we, we just need to throw down a um, thermal aqua tuner over here, and then we can start setting up the nuclear reactor. Unfortunately, I, I can't even do that. I don't I don't have the materials for the thermal act tuner. That's why we've been concentrating ourselves over here on Blagolia so we can start getting the flows of materials up and running again. Of course, reversing making the majority of the steel. It's there. It's ready to get transported. Uh, just for some reason, the, uh, the rads are not flowing right now. But I will see you guys next time when we're going to do actually all of that. Bye.